Free Academy English. I'm Geraldine and today I'm going to help you improve your speaking score. There's not just one thing to do to improve your speaking. Obviously, the first thing to do is to speak. Speak, speak and speak. If you have someone you can talk to, that'd be great. But if you don't, you just have to talk to yourself. Talk to the mirror, but get that tongue moving. That is very important. If you feel that the problem is your intonation, your pronunciation, or your fluency, I would strongly advise you to pick someone and start mimicking that person. Because the intonation, the pronunciation, the rhythm uh, won't come from your head, but from listening to someone else. For example, something, something I do is uh, like sometimes I start, you know, binge watching something on Netflix, like uh, a series. And so one character gets into my head and then I just continue talking the way she talks. It's usually <laughs> a female character. And you will see that there, there's a way in which that person talks, that there's an intonation and there's a flow that you can follow. And that will make your speaking, in general, more natural. But speaking, it's not only about how about the rhythm, the intonation, and the pronunciation of the words. Well, you are supposed to deliver using words and good grammar. So part of practicing speaking, of improving speaker, has to do, improving, oh, sorry, of improving speaking has to do with learning grammar and with learning vocabulary because obviously you need words to be able to say and you need to say them correctly so grammar is important you need to study your grammar even if you want to improve your speaking <laughs> the grammar you're speaking is the way you talk so practice your grammar and practice aloud. When you're able to convey your ideas using correct grammar, appropriate vocabulary, and a good pronunciation with good intonation and rhythm, then you could think about something more specific for the exam. More specifically for the exam, you have organization, timing, and note-taking. Organization means that your answer is structured in a clear way so the person that's talking to you or that's going to hear you can understand everything you're saying and tell more or less in which part of your speech you are. It means that you answer the question that you are asked. Because you have good grammar and good vocabulary, you're able, able to rephrase what they told you and at your answer. Then you'll transition into the next thing you're going to say, like for example, giving details or how many details you're going to give or in how many parts what you're going to say is divided. You'll then use proper tra transitions for each of these parts and for the final part. That way your answer is organized. This is crucial. We said Second, timing. Maybe you can have great organization when you speak for four minutes. So work on your timing. Start giving answers. At the beginning, you can speak for giving an answer maybe for three minutes and then practice saying the same thing again. I guarantee that you're going to say it in a shorter time. And if you continue, you can make it as short as you want up to 45 seconds, which is what TOEFL requires for question number one. Finally, note-taking. You have some paper and a pencil and you need to use them wisely. Because taking notes is not about writing everything that is in your head. It's about writing key words in a very short time. So you might want to practice this as well. To know exactly what you need to write. If it's a question in which you have to listen to something and take notes, take notes of the important things. And 
being able to find those things after you heard them or just be sure that when they ask you a question about something specific you will see in how many parts you're going to divide it doing that with keywords maybe two or three words tops per item and showing a clear division between the reasons for example you're going to give in your answer and after many hours of practice you'll improve your score obviously if you're preparing for a TOEFL you need to practice just recording yourself and if it's IELTS you might want to practice talking to a real person and not getting intimidated by the other person that's it thank you for watching subscribe and I hope to see you soon